Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Rucker Calyx 2 Gore-Tex jacket. Rucker's original Calyx jacket was a very popular, relatively simple, lightweight textile jacket and this sequel has taken over its mantle. We've had 20 customer reviews for this Calyx 2 as we record this and all 20 of them have given a perfect 5-star review. It's become very popular largely because it's a really simple and uncomplicated jacket, so hopefully I'll be able to run through the details on it pretty quickly for you. The outer is made from 600 denier Cordura with a two-layer Gore-Tex membrane laminated to it. Having it laminated gives better rain protection than you can get from having the waterproof membrane as a separate layer on the inside of the jacket. If the membrane is a separate layer, it will still keep you dry, but it can't keep the jacket as dry, and a wet jacket is a cold jacket. So with a laminated membrane like this one, it keeps the jacket drier, and that means you can stay warmer on the inside as well. It also means if you're riding day after day, then you're not having to put on a jacket that's still soggy from yesterday's ride. This is Gore-Tex's two-layer laminate, which means it's a little bit more flexible than jackets with the heavier duty three-layer Gore-Tex Pro membrane. When I wore this jacket, it certainly didn't feel as bulky and stiff as the jackets with that three-layer Pro membrane. The other benefit of a laminated membrane is when it comes to ventilation. If your waterproof membrane is a separate layer on the inside of the jacket, then when you open a vent, there's still that membrane acting as a barrier that stops air reaching your skin. It will cool the jacket down in general, but you don't get that feel of air rushing through. With a laminated jacket like this, when you open a zip, the membrane separates with the outer and you get more air coming through. If I open up the vent here, you can see there's just an air mesh lining in the way. So that's the only thing stopping air getting through to your skin. It's protected by a sealed zip. There's a common thing to remember on laminated jackets. Those zips need to be shut if it's raining and you want to stay dry. Those two vents at the collarbone, they're the ones in the most direct flow of air. And then there are further vents at the hips and at the back above the shoulder blades. The main fastener for this jacket is a sealed zip that runs over a guttered flap behind it. So any rain that does get beyond the zip will drain down that guttered flap and away through the base of the jacket. That's not the first line of defense though. There's this flap that poppers over the sealed zip as well. So there's plenty of protection from rain at that main fastener. At the top, the neck is a dead easy Velcro collar. If you want to leave it undone, you can just fold the Velcro panel back against this flap to stop the scratchy bit attaching to your clothes and your helmet strap. It is quite a high neck, as I found to be the case on most rucker jackets, and the top is made from neoprene, so you do get impressive weather protection. The cuffs are really simple, and that's something that draws comment in the customer reviews for this jacket. There are a couple of people who've said that this jacket doesn't have the silly double cuff that comes on the posher, more expensive rucker jackets. Now, I don't think that double cuff is silly, especially if you want the best rain protection that's around, but they are a bit of a faff to use, and the cuff on this Calyx 2 is much simpler. You just undo the Velcro flap, pull the cuff over your glove, and then do the flap up again. It's dead easy, and I found there was plenty of room even for thick winter gloves to go in there. Fit adjustment on this jacket is quite simple too. You get poppers at the upper arm, and then there are expansion pleats on the vents at the hips. By having a two-way zip, you can pull it from the top to get just the vent, or you can pull it from the bottom, and that gives you a vent and this expansion pleat. So another plus point I think with this jacket is the amount of light reflective material. There's piping on the sleeves and behind the neck as well. And then there's a big Rucker R logo on the back. And then these chevrons on the sleeves also retro reflect to help you stand out in a car's headlight beam. The exterior pockets on this jacket are dead simple. You get one at each hip and they've got water resistant zips. Now I'd say Rucker are playing safe here by calling it water resistant rather than waterproof. The pocket linings are Gore-Tex and the zips themselves are the same ones that are used on the vents. So if you've got the pocket zips done up properly, they should be waterproof. But Rucker aren't promising it, and if they're not, then I'm definitely not either. Okay, let's move to the inside of the jacket. When you open it up, there's a mesh lining, and this is what holds the armour pockets in place. As standard, the Calyx 2 comes with shoulder and elbow armour. It's substantial D3O armour that meets the higher level 2 of the CE standard. It also covers a larger area than normal protectors. If you've seen our other Rucker jacket reviews, you'll have seen this before. But here's this armour compared to D3O's regular shoulder and elbow protectors. So you can see you get quite a lot of extra coverage by going for the Rucker rather than a jacket with regular D3O armour. 
There's no back or chest protection as standard with the Calyx 2, but there are pockets to fit both if you want to pay the extra for the inserts. If you don't fill the chest armor pockets with impact protection, then you can use them as normal pockets for your bits and bobs, which is exactly what I did when I wore this jacket. And while we're on the subject of CE, Rucker haven't gone down the route of certifying this jacket via the route that most companies now use. They've certified it in their own way, so I can't tell you which level it would meet within the CE standard that everyone else is using. It's a bit of a shame I can't do that, but Rucker have now started to certify their newer jackets to that standard, so hopefully soon this one will catch up and we'll get a rating for it. In terms of stopping the jacket riding up, you've got two options. There's a connecting zip to attach to Rucker trousers, or there's the crotch strap. So with the strap, you unfurl it from the lower back, you thread it between your legs, and then you secure it to this plastic loop that sits at the front of the jacket. Now, I didn't use the crotch strap when I wore this jacket. There's a notable absence with this jacket as well. You might have spotted it. There's no thermal lining. Rucker leave layering options up to the rider when it comes to this. Personally, I've no issue with that as I have mid layers of my own and usually take a thermal liner out of a jacket anyway. Customers who've reviewed this jacket seem to feel the same way as me and they're happy to buy either a regular fleece or a down liner to wear under this jacket when it's cold outside. So onto my personal experience of this jacket. It's not flashy, it's not complicated, but it's bloody effective. The laminated membrane means it stays drier and it dries out completely much more quickly than a normal breathable waterproof jacket. It's also very comfortable and really flexible. And by using my own layers, I've stayed nice and warm with this jacket. It's also one of the cheaper ways into the Rucker range as the Calyx 2 costs £599.99 as we record this video. You can spend twice as much and then some more on a Rucker jacket if you want to. If you're riding in serious cold and rain for long spells, then you definitely benefit from doing that if you can. But for riders who spend most of their time in more normal conditions, then I'd say the Calyx 2 will absolutely have you covered. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Rucker Calyx 2 Gore-Tex jacket. But if there isn't a thing you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.